everyone! Welcome to this week's Wacky Wednesday. I'm Miss Becca and I'm so excited to do today's craft with you. So, make sure you've got your creative brains turned on because things are about to get wacky! So today we're on week three of our Celebrating Canada series and today we're going to be looking at the nickel. And on this nickel, the picture of a beaver. Beavers are the second largest rodent in the world. The beaver is mainly a nocturnal animal, which means they're awake during the night and asleep during the day. Adult beavers are around three feet long and have been known to weigh over 25 kilograms. That's like four fatty lardos. The large front teeth of the beaver never stop growing. The beaver's constant gnawing on wood helps to keep their teeth from growing too long. Together, beaver colonies create dams of wood and mud that are also called lodges. There are usually two dens within the lodge. One is for drying off after entering from the water, and another one, a drier one, is where the family of beavers live. The beaver has a good sense of hearing, smell, and touch, but it has poor eyesight. Although it does have a set of see-through eyelids, which allows them to see underwater. Using their broad, scaly tail, Beavers will forcefully slap the water as an alarm signal to other beavers in the area that a predator is approaching. Danga! Beavers are slow on land, but using their webbed feet, they are very good swimmers. A beaver can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. like to keep themselves busy and they are productive builders during the night. Hence the saying, as busy as a beaver. The beaver is actually the national animal of Canada. Wow, so cool to learn about the beaver. Let's make something to celebrate this incredible creation. So today we're going to be making some beaver tails. Except not really real beaver tails, like the yummy kind. The yummy kind of beaver tails. So, the first thing that we're going to do to make our beaver tails is to get three quarters of a cup of warm milk and we're going to add in two teaspoons of yeast and three... I almost put salt in. And then we're going to put three tablespoons of sugar in. And then give that a little mix. And then we're gonna put that to the side for a few minutes. And now we're gonna get a big bowl and we're going to add two and a quarter cups of flour. One teaspoon salt. And then we'll just give that a little mixy mix. And now we're going to add in one quarter cup of melted butter, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And now mix that up. And then, once your yeast is looking nice and foamy on top, you can pour that in and then mix that all together. Now, once you've mixed all your ingredients together, you're going to lightly flour a surface and then Dump out all of your goo onto the surface. Now, put a little flour on your hands and start kneading your dough. Now, 
once you have your nice dough ball, you can put it back into there and then cover it up. And we're gonna let it rise in a warm place for 10 minutes. So now we are going to take a pan and spray it with some cooking spray or line it with parchment paper, whatever you want. And now, lightly flour your surface again. And then dump out your dough ball. And now we're going to cut this into eight. It doesn't want to cut. Kind of. Okay. Okay. We're going to cut this into eight equal sized balls. Now roll your dough into a nice circle. And now we're going to just roll it into an oval shape long like a beaver tail. And then we'll put it on our pan. We're going to do that with all of them. And now we're just going to cover them with a tea towel and let them rest for 15 minutes. Now we're going to take some melted butter and just, if you have a little brush, that would be nice. I don't. So I'm just going to spread some melted butter onto each one of these. And now on half of my beaver tails, I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar, which I've already mixed up in here. Spread a generous amount of that on. And the other half I'm going to leave plain and we're going to put different toppings on afterwards. So normally you're supposed to deep fry these, but um, that's scary. So we're going to bake them. So now let's pop them in the oven. And we're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. So now for the beaver tail that we didn't put any cinnamon or sugar on, um, we're going to take some Nutella or some chocolatey spread and just put a nice dollop of that on right when they are still warm so it kind of gets melty. Mmm, look at that deliciousness. And then we're going to take some banana slices and just load her up. have a, a delicious dessert, cinnamon, sugar, and Nutella, and bananas, and now I get to taste them. These are so good. Please try these. They're so yummy and so easy. Just one more bite. Well, that's it for this week's Wacky Wednesday. I hope you guys had fun. If you decide to make these tasty beaver tail treats at home, let me know by posting a picture in the comments below. I'd love to see them. Until next time, bye guys!